We're at Lakeland College where the Lady Muskies are getting ready to take on Concordia. My name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, both teams come in with not very impressive records. No, Lakeland comes in at three and three and Concordia on four. I was just talking to assistant coach Stevensmeyer, former Sheboygan North player, and he said both teams have played some very difficult teams uh, to get prepared for the conference opener, which is tonight. Couple of familiar names on these teams, one for Concordia and one for Lakeland. Yeah, uh, old teammates from Sheboygan Lutheran is right. Uh, uh, Stacy Rush plays from Concordia, which I thought was one of the best high school players I ever saw, you know, of all time. And of course, Renee Steiner plays here at Lakeland. Now Lakeland comes in with a three and three record. Uh, they got a girl by the name of Audrey, Aubrey Roth who uh, leads them in scoring. Yeah, just a freshman out here. Uh, Casey Thousand's back again this year, and Christy Thiel, who uh, also contributed last year, were two of the top scorers on their team, but kind of surprising, a freshman, kind of interesting to see her. Be interesting to see if Crystal Muirdink, a Oosberg product, uh, gets in the game tonight. Yeah, and she's a very uh, tall player. I've seen her develop all the way. I used to ref the JV, still do, the summer leagues and stuff, and she's always outstanding there. And then she had a great high school career, uh, not just at basketball and volleyball as well. April Arvin uh, entering her 10th season as a head coach. That's quite a tenure. Yeah, and again, I think she had 18 or 19 wins again last year. Every team, every year her teams are just outstanding after taking over for Jane Bushy. It's hard to believe that's been 10 years already. I was surprised to read this in the program, but uh, uh, Concordia beat them twice last year in the regular season, but not in tournament play, so a little revenge factor tonight? Could, could come into play. And like I said, I was talking to Coach Stemsmeyer, you know, they're a little nervous about playing this opening, you know, game of conference. You got, they don't know where exactly they're going to fit in. Uh, I think it's going to be a good one tonight. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. So stay tuned. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job. But when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, <laughs> that's the easy part. Americans are rolling up their sleeves to help each other. Showing true strength of character and kindness and compassion. Spirit and enthusiasm. Together, we make America strong. Find out how you can serve, no matter where you are in life, at nationalservice.org. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. Apply online at nationalservice.org and answer the President's call to service. They're going through the starting lineups. Let's go through Concordia's starting lineup. At a guard, number 10 will be Stacy Rush. She's a 5'4 sophomore, oh, pardon me, a 5'4 junior. She's from uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, attended Lutheran High School, as Chris mentioned in the opening. At the other guard for Concordia is Erica Ensign. She's a 5'9 freshman from Juanita High School in Kirkland, Washington. Another starter, number 30, a freshman, is Alicia Sura. She is uh, 5'9". She's from Nathan Hale High School in West Dallas. Starting in the front line, we mentioned her in the opening, Crystal Meerdink. She's a freshman. She's number 40. She goes 6'2 from Oostburg High School. And rounding out the starting lineup for Concordia is Lee Bayarski, number 42. She's a 5'10 freshman from Menominee High School. Ford Lakeland. Starting at a guard, number 12, Carrie Nichols. She's 5'5", a junior from Brookfield, Wisconsin. Attended Greendale Martin Luther High School. At the other guard is Aubrey Roth, number 32. She's 5'9", a freshman from Delafield, Wisconsin. Attended Kettle Moraine High School. Casey Thousand is a senior. She's 5'10", from Barneveld. 
Starting in the front line, number 50, Jenna Beam. She's 5'11", a freshman forward from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Attended Green Bay Preble High School. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Lady Muskies is Renee Steiner, a six foot junior. She's from Howard's Grove, but attended Sheboygan Lutheran High School. Chris, it stacks up. This, this should be a good ball game. Yes, uh, Concordia is extremely young, as you mentioned there on the starting lineup. Uh, just a junior and Stacy, and then uh, four freshmen to go along with her. But uh, like we said, Crystal Meerdink's a good one, that's for sure. And a shot of April Arvin talking to uh, her players. And uh, Chuck Oliver is head coach. He's in the gray uh, sport coat for uh, Concordia. He's in his third year at Concordia. We didn't get the names of the officials, but uh, their theme song, theme song is uh, Three Blind Mice. Well, let's see how they run. <laughs> There's a shot of April Arvin. Tenth year, uh, runs a very successful program. And Joe Steffensmeyer with Jane Boucher in the middle. College level officials usually let them play a little more, Chris. But after watching that North game on Monday night, I don't know if you can let players play any more than what they did. Yeah. Ball tipped out of bounds by Lakeland. Cordia's uh, Stacy Rush will trigger the inbounds. There you get a good shot of Stacy. Second team all conference last year. Being guarded by Casey Thousand. Running one hander off the glass and out of bounds, but it was tipped by a Lakeland player and it looks like Casey Thousand turned an ankle. Yeah, immediately a substitution there. Zero Langenhorst coming in for the Muskies, replacing Thousand. That's 11 points out of lineup that's limping off here, Marty. Inside shot is up and in by Crystal Meerdink. Outstanding athlete at Oosberg, like we talked about in the opening. Crystal, very good volleyball player as well. Tallest of the starting players tonight. Meerdink tipped the ball away from Roet. Lakeland able to get it back. Inside pass to Steiner is picked off by Meerdink. Rush on the push, tried to push it up, but threw it away. Handling the ball for the Muskies is Kerry Nichols. Pass inside to Steiner, and, uh, goes right through her hands. Pass inside to Meerdink is out of her reach and out of bounds. Another turnover. A little sloppy early going here, Marty. Got that right. Two turnovers for uh, Concordia. And I believe it's two for Lakeland. We're not even two minutes in. On the outside is uh, Beam. And a travel call on... Concordia's Kerry Nichols. Oh, pardon me, Lakeland's Kerry Nichols. We got some serious shot clock problems across the way, Marty. Shot clocks are not working at all. Uh, Kerry Coutts, our director, got that word, and uh, I'm not sure where the, uh, you know, the information for that is coming from. Probably the underworld that he participates with. <laughs> <laughs> Outside shot is way off the mark by Ensign. <clears throat> Nichols on the push. Both teams in a man-to-man, person-to-person -man de -person defense. Pass inside is up and good by Jenna Beam on a nice pass from Renee Steiner. Was a good pass, maybe got away with a shuffle there, but uh, count the basket and we'll get a foul situation. Crystal Meerdink picks up her first foul. Jenna Beam with an opportunity to uh, convert the three-point 
play and uh, give Lakeland the lead. She comes in at seven points per game. Nice left-handed. Yeah, high arching left-handed shot is good. 7.45 and counting, 17.45 and counting. Lakeland on top, three to two. Rush with a three-point attempt is no good. Rebound Steinert. How oh, interesting, a lot of these CLC players playing against each other tonight. Hoosburg, Sheboygan Lutheran players. Game has it on the wing. Then we get a foul called. Foul is on Erica Ensign. Her first and the team's second. You see Mierding, number 40. Wood got away with a shuffle step. Jump shot is up and in. Well, she came, as you said before, Marty, she went to uh, Kettle Moraine, which for those of you that don't know, in high school basketball is a very strong uh, program there for girls basketball. Sura for two. Five to four, Lakeland on top. Nichols being hounded by Rush. Beam being hounded by Meerdink. Cordy playing very tight defense, Chris. Root with a fall away, no good. Rush hustling for the ball, can't get it, but Lakeland's Root does. Shot clock went off the buzzer, but uh, referees are correctly signaling that uh, Lakeland lost the possession and should have gotten a new shot clock. Till is in along with... Uh, I think Casey Beth, Thousand's back in the game too. Beth Porter comes in. That's good for uh, Lakeland. You're right, she is back in there. A little pick and roll action to Porter. Shot is no good. Steiner for the turnaround. Seven to four. Going hard to the basket and getting fouled is Alicia Sura. Till with the foul. There you get a good shot of Sura. He's from West Dallas. Hale High School. It's one thing they don't uh, lack for is information on uh, these teams, Chris. I could have that at, at North, what grade school they went to. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of fun. I should write that down and think about that for my book. <laughs> well, a bump on uh, 1,000, but no call. She pushes it up and then loses it. Uh, nice feed up by Rush. A good stutter step, can't get the shot off. Meerdink has it and puts it in off a nice pass from Ensign. And Cordia running the full court press and then there's a foul. I believe that's gonna go on Ensign. That's her second foul already and we're only at 15.30 of the first half. To see Janicki coming in for Anson. And the Wendorf is coming in for Concordia also. And taking a seat is uh, Lee Bayarski. Concordia still running the press. Yeah, kind of like a zone type press. Till had it. Steiner with a jump shot is up and in. Little half hook kind of action on that one, Chris. Yeah, her and uh, Meerdink went at each other, like I said, in the CLC. Steiner from Lutheran and Meerdink from Oostburg. Good inside feed to Meerdink. Her shot is up and in. Uh, 
Concordia running a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press, it looks like. Yep. Looks like once they break that first trap, they're pretty much dropping back. Yeah, into a zone. Till, long shot is no good. Rebound 1,000, up and in. Her first two points of the night. Shot is up by uh, Meerdink is no good. Pretty fast paced. Once he uh, went to this full court press, you're right. Both the action did pick up considerably. Yeah. Yeah, both teams up and down the floor. Harrell commits the foul. Good job of breaking the press crossing there. Jump shot by Porter is no good. Rebound goes to uh, Bjarski of Concordia. <clears throat> Rush on the push. Now well, they settle into their half court offense. Had it stripped away by Thousand. She's trying to make a spin move and lost to Thousand on a good defense. Lakeland's doing a good job of denying Stacy Rush the ball. Tough for Concordia to get their offense going. She had a little bit of an opening from outside the three-point line, but didn't take it. Then the ball is tipped out of bounds by Porter. Yarski trying to get it, but uh, was tipped away from her. Too much lob in the lob pass, Marty. Lakeland <laughs> reacted quick enough to uh, adjust. Stephanie Young comes in for uh, Rush, and uh, Nichols, and Beam check back in for the Muskies. Good weak side help there. Yeah, good weak side help, but getting the I pass wrote. anyway was by Arski and she got the shot. A lot of contact on that, not called. Till pushing it hard, but not able to find an opening. Good swing. And uh, on the trip, Cordy will get called for a foul. One of those unintentional fouls, but it still uh, has to be called. Good crowd here tonight, Marty. Very good. Well, Stacy, Stacy Rush brought a bunch of people in the building. Instead of watching friends, they want to be with their friends, and that's nice to see. <laughs> Shot out of bounds off of Concordia. Lakeland will uh, keep it. Lakeland on top, 13 to 12. After they got the uh, foolish turnovers out of the way, they're playing pretty good basketball. Till from outside the line, no good. Lakeland getting it back. Nichols, Johnny on the spot. That time Till got it. Three pointer for Till. Whoa, looked like a double dribble, not called. Good hounding defense by Lakeland again. Janicki, nice spin move. Nice spin move. Shot by Biarski is no good. Rebound shot is up and in. Thirty second time out by Lakeland. Talk a little bit about the Lakeland press breaker coach because I think they've done pretty good with that. Yeah, they have. They've done a real nice job of kind of crossing someone across the middle, and that's what's basically then giving them a break because, as you said, it's kind of a one-two-one. One uh, press, and when, when they break that, it seems like they have numbers, and uh, they're trying to take advantage of it by short jump shots and other things, and uh, obviously not turning over the ball doing that either. You mentioned Lakeland comes in with a 3-3 three and three record. This is a first conference game for uh, both teams, so want to get out to a good start in terms of conference play. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you want to do, and... That's why you play the preseason games to get yourself ready for conference play. And as I said, Concordia, though they are 0-4, have played some 
pretty sturdy opponents. I failed to mention this, but I was talking to Stacy prior to the game, Chris, and she said even though they're on four, they played very, very hard and uh, not always real well, but uh, you know, effort counts for a lot. Right, and having four uh, freshmen in the starting lineup doesn't help Concordia either. Thousand takes it hard to the hoop and lays it up and in. She has six points and leads Lakeland in scoring. 18 to 14. Seniors off to a good start. He's on the line. Taking it to uh, the baseline was Ensign, and then she wanted to make a pass inside, but her uh, teammate was covered, and then uh, she went just a little too far and touched the sideline. Pardon me, the baseline. Another 30-second timeout, this one by Concordia. Both teams seem to play uh, real good help defense. I know yeah. you mentioned that once before. Well, Lakeland's just uh, swarming the ball, like I said, trying to take things away from Stacy Rush. But, you know, one of a good sign of a defensive team is the weak side help, which we've already seen. Uh, good post denial as well. Uh, something that uh, Coach Arvin's always been doing. I hate that when they show those shots, Chris. <laughs> you always look so darn good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we spent a lot of time together this week, Marty. Monday night, last night basketball, Monday night a game, tonight yep. a game, tomorrow a game. We mentioned about opening game of the conference season, we'll have the same situation tomorrow when uh, Southwest invades Sheboygan North. There you see Jane Boucher and Joe Steffensmeyer, Jane, uh, her 10th year here. Yeah, Joe's the one with the uh, tie. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be graduating and... Jump shot is off, no good. And then goes out of bounds off of Lakeland's Jenna Beam. We graduate and Joe will be in going into accounting. Is there anything on my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Inside pass is tipped away by Steiner. Away from uh, Meerdink. Rush outside the line, can't get it to go. Bounces off of Bayarski's shoulder, so Lakeland will get it. Here's some of the crazy fans today. Elton John in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Road has it, she's being pressed hard by Ensign. Good swim, swing pass, or skip pass, as they call it. Well, Meerdink read that play and stole the pass. Pushing it hard is Sura. She's open from 12 and can't get the basket. Then getting the rebound and putting it up and in, and no good was Ensign, but then it was Jenna Beam capturing the rebound for Lakeland. Rush almost had the steal on top of the key. Taking the open jump shot was uh, Rote, and then Rush tried to do an outlet pass to her teammate, and uh, too much air on the air pass. Or how'd you say that before? <laughs> <laughs> too much lob on the lob pass. Good passing there. Little shot is up and in by uh, Nichols, and she's fouled. I think it was Jenna Bame there with a the nice feed down into the post. And Renee there, the open look. Two points and a foul, and another chance for a three-point play for the Lady Muskies. Sura committed that foul, Chris, and uh, Nichols is gonna go to the line to uh, try and finish off a three-point play. I think you just mentioned it's the second one of the game. <laughs> Twenty-one to fourteen, Lakeland is built up a seven-point lead with uh, ten twenty remaining until halftime. Ayarski going hard, and then she's tripped by Beam. That'll be her first foul. Only the second team foul on Lakeland. <laughs> oh, nice pass in by Rush. Getting wide open was uh, Lee Byarski. 
Easy two for the Falcons, Lady Falcons. Lakeland swinging it from side to side. Thousand going hard to the middle. The shot is no good. And rebounding it and putting it up and in is Jenna Beam. Pass inside to Bayarski is stolen away by Jenna Beam. Another steal by Lakeland. Thousand into Steiner, fade away, no good. Ooh, maybe a foul. Yeah, nothing called. Thousand from outside the line, bango. She's having a pretty good half, Marty. Nine points so far out of the 26. Lakeland up 10. Rush with a fadeaway in the lane is no good. Road has it on the wing. Steiner trying to establish inside position. Outside shot is no good. Muirdink with the rebound. They're gonna get rushed with a charge. Looked like a pretty good acting job by Casey Thousand. Yep. Good flop there. Seven even kind of, She's even kind of laughing about it. She always laughs. I remember her last year. She always has a smile on her yeah, face. Yeah, she does. That's a good time playing. For Rush, that was her first fall. Porter's back in the game for Lakeland, so is Christy Till. Taking the jump shot from the wing was Sarah Langenhorst, rolled off. Nice little moves, Chris, to get that jump shot off. Yeah. 15 footer is off hard, no good by Young. And then a whistle and a foul. Going to the line to shoot two will be uh, Alicia Sura. Langenhorst committing the foul. For Sura, that's her uh, fifth point. She was to the line for two earlier in the half. Chris and nailed them. Can't get that one to go. Bayarski almost got it away from Rote, but couldn't. Till lost the shoe. Yeah. She's struggling with that shoe, too. Got to untie it. Good reason for high tops. And catches a break on a Concordia foul. Yeah, really. Well, big foul that time for Concordia, not just to stop action to allow Till to get back in the game, but uh, goes on Crystal Mirdink, her second. Porter at the line, shooting one and one. I think Coach Oliver is going to bring her out right here. <laughs> Naomi Wendorf in, Mirdink. Steps out, and we got a full timeout, Kerry. So let's take a break with uh, Lakeland on top, 27 to 17. Twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my 
our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Here you see Stacy Rush's mom, Donna. And right below there is Grandma Rush in the gray hair and Jimmy Rush with no hair. <laughs> Chuck Benedum. Just a plethora. Ken Lightbum. Kathy Klee up on top. What's the mascot's name? Muskie. Well, uh, 11 for 18 shooting for Lakeland so far. Concordia's not shooting too bad themselves, 7 for 16, but where uh, Concordia's really hurting, they've committed nine turnovers already, Marty, and that's why they only have uh, 17 points on the board. We'll be, we're going to make a couple trips back here, Chris, uh, on December 12th. The, the men play Northland Baptist. And then uh, February 7th, later in the season, obviously, we'll be back here for a doubleheader on a Saturday afternoon. And uh, Wisconsin Lutheran coming into play. Porter makes both free throws, and uh, it's 28-17, Lakeland. Well, Till with the good defense there, preventing the back cut, but uh, but Byarski able to get the shot up and in. She has eight points for the Lady Falcons. Just over her average, she's four for five from the line. Coach Oliver not happy with that call. Thought they got a tie up on the Lady Muskies there. I think he's got a legitimate point, too. Burrow picked up the foul. That's her second. Langenhorst going to the line. Her first trip. I won't tell everybody that Lakeland's five for five because you might accuse me of putting the jinx on them. Yeah, I was just thinking they're shooting pretty well from the free throw line. Had a shot at Chuck Oliver. Lakeland's creeping away. They're up 11, 30 to 19. Coach Arvin wants hands up. Good, good stop here. By Arski, a good help defense by Till. And nice little offensive play by Concordia. And then a pile up inside the lane. Bame picking up her second personal foul. And at the line is uh, Bayarski. Lakeland already has played nine different players, Marty, from what I have. May not pay real big dividends in the first half, but as we move through the game, I think it'll be, uh, could make a huge difference. Tie up in the possession arrow points Lakeland's way, so they'll get it. Well, a little different look. It looks like a 2 2 1. Yeah, I was just going to say they change up their press a little bit. But Lakeland still does a nice job of breaking, and there's thousands. It's been hot all day. Long rebound and Rote uh, tracks it down. Cordy in a, in a zone, it looks like, Chris. Rote from outside the line. Got it to go. Third three-pointer by the Muskies here in the first half, and all of a sudden they got a 14-point lead. My thought exactly. <clears throat> Jump shot by Wendorf is no good. And a tie-up. And this time, uh, Concordia will keep it. Well, 
Well, Road playing very tight defense. And uh, Concordia calls a 30-second timeout to uh, get out of trouble, I guess, Coach. Yeah, just great swarming defense by the Lady Muskies again, making it very difficult for Concordia to get anything started. You know, if one thing I think typifies the basketball programs out here is the tough defense that uh, boys, the men and the women play. Absolutely, and uh, looking forward to seeing Coach Gresh and uh, Muskie Gentlemen playing this year as well. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you uh, tonight's game. The Lady Muskies against the uh, Concordia Lady Falcons. Rush has it on top. Looking for the opening and 1,000 playing very tough defense. Yeah, stacy has been really taken out of her game. She doesn't have a basket yet. And a foul is called along the baseline. Casey Thousand picking up a personal foul. I think Stacy got that on her quickness. It's just They're really forcing them out. Yeah, I was just gonna say they just no place to go for the Oh, a throw and it's good. Wendorf. Till has it. Wrote from outside the line. Got it. Well, Concordia continues to press and try to trap, and Lakeland's doing just an outstanding job of swinging the ball to the open player and just burning the heck out of uh, Concordia. They're just not getting any chances. Rush with an open look, got it in. Three-pointer, and that's the first three-pointer for uh, Concordia. Lakeland, on the other hand, has four. Three-point baskets, two of them by Rote. I think Concordia would be better just playing a straight man. Phil almost had it stripped away, got it back, and then drove hard to the basket only to lose it. Rush leading a two-on-one break. Nice pass, layup is up and in by Hero. That was nice. Now just a full press here. Till being oh, hounded by Young. Caught on the shoulder. Excuse me, the hip. She got the ball caught up on her hip there and turned the ball over there. Unlike Christy Till to do such a thing. Lakeland calls a full timeout. Uh, we'll be back. Right now the score is Lakeland 36, Concordia 26. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Oh! Environmental defense, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental defense, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Hey, there he is, the man, Dan Rowerdink. Yeah. He's a spotter for the statistician. Hey. I guess they don't, they don't trust him checking in, taking care of the money at the door. No, I didn't <laughs> even know Dink was here. He didn't get a chance to say, pitched a little bit for me and. Well, I think he pitched a lot for you. <laughs> and Lakeland, 
Kid Brothers out here now, Mike. I tell you, I always enjoyed working those uh, Sunday games with the uh, Cleveland Wildcats when he was pitching because I knew there were going to be fight strikes thrown. <laughs> Bayarski put that one up and in. I'll tell you, there, Concordia's creeping back in the game now, just as you thought it was going the other way. They're coming back a little bit, just an eight-point deficit with four minutes left in the half. Rush with the attempted steal, and a long shot is no good. Rush pulls up from 20 and got it. Stacy Rush starting to feel it. 36-31. She missed her first four shots, which made two in a row and both threes. And a half that I thought was dominated by the Lakeland women is just now a five-point lead. They had it up as much as 11 at 30 to 19. Turn around, kiss off the glass by thousand. It was halfway down, but then it popped back out. Oh, right to the defense. Not a good decision there by Stephanie Young. Housen bringing it up. Well, I don't think the official wanted to call it at first, but then she did. And there you see uh, Erica Anson, and that's going to be her third foul. Well, they have foul troubles right already. As we said, Crystal Meerdink is out. Danielle Hero has two fouls. Meerdink, you mentioned, with two, and now Anson with three. And this will be the double bonus. Good shot of uh, some more fans from uh, Sheboygan following Stacy. Well, Lakeland continues to make a living at the line, Chris. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of eight. I was just going to say a difference of the ball game, too. You look at the scoreboard, seven point lead, getting it done at the free throw line. Rush bringing it up. Going hard to the basket and putting it up. Kind of a wild shot by Wendorf is no good. They've discovered something though. They seem to be able to go baseline on Lakeland, which Lakeland wasn't allowing before. Shot is up and no good by Langenhorst. It goes off a Concordia player. Lakeland will keep it. 218 remaining in the first half. Porter gets it out to Langenhorst. And she gets around the defense only to kick it out to Beam. Rode with a fadeaway, got it in. Oh, she is tough. She reminds me a little bit of Schwalbe, you know, with that fadeaway. There's no way you're gonna block it unless you're quite a bit taller. Jimmy Schwalbe, someone we play basketball with Fridays. Real good shooter back in Sheboygan. <laughs> Bad turnover. Beam has it. It's a smart decision to get it to a guard. Langenhorst dumps it inside to Beam. Spin move, no good. But fouled. Lee Byarski committing her first foul and uh, doesn't matter here, Bam will be shooting two, but uh, Concordia over the limit. <laughs> Brian checking the stands. And the first miss by Lakeland. We're down under one minute and 30 seconds. Lakeland up 10 again. 
Jump shot is off. And uh, over the back is Lee Byarski. I gotta sneak your best free throw shooter up there. <laughs> I don't think they remember who was who got nailed. <clears throat> Dill says I can make them, and she was right. Didn't you tell your guys that before the game? I always want to send the best free throw shooter to yep. the line. Once again, free throws helping out the Lady Muskies. Struggling from the floor right now, but getting it done at the free throw line. Bayarski spin move in the lane. Gets a shot up, but she's gonna be fouled by Porter. Kind of a bailout there. No place to go. Weaved herself between three Lady Muskies and uh, drew the foul. Uh, Bayarski had a pair of free throws earlier and uh, didn't connect on either one. I think Beth Porter just kind of stood there. Number 43, St. Charles, Illinois, sophomore. Well, if you're Lakeland, you want to uh, mark down by Arski as the one you want to foul in a close game. She, has, she didn't even come close in that last attempt. She's 0 for 3. Put it in the memory bank. I was just going to say this is going to be switched. <laughs> <laughs> well, was. she looked good shooting it, too. <laughs> well, maybe pick out somebody else. Rush guarding Rote. Jill dumps it inside. Good teamwork that time by the Muskies. Uh, Concordia lost track. You know, did a couple of screens, and all of a sudden, people were all out of kilter in terms of... Uh, who they had on defense. Steiner broke wide open. Rush, no good. Thousand on the push. Did you ever try to dribble full speed, smiling? <laughs> not like, not like Casey, she's. One of a kind. Yep, always happy. Fouls and fouled, and uh, she's going to go to the line to shoot two. Okay, Casey Thousand so far, Chris has 11 points in the first half. We're at 11 seconds remaining. And uh, what appeared to be a relatively close game at 38-31, Lakeland has now jumped out to a 46-32 lead. There you see him with his hand on his, there uh, on Tom. his shoulder, Tom DePoctor from Mooseburg, a very successful high school coach. Shot by Rush is blocked, looks like they got her on the hand, but no call, and that's the half. Lakeland leads it, 46-32. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? All uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does.
Oakland uh, leads it at halftime by 46 to 32. Casey Thousand is going to trigger the inbounds. Lakeland was led in scoring in the first half by Casey with uh, 12 points and uh, Aubrey wrote their high score coming in had 10. Beam and Steinert each had six for the top scores. Concordia was led by Leah Byarski with 11. Dan Rording brought over a stat sheet, Chris. Yeah, Dink didn't do that. 15, uh, they got him 15 for 33 shooting Lakeland, that is, that's at 45%. 48% shooting for Concordia, but I had him for 11 turnovers. I know they only had eight, but I think they had more than that, and that's the difference in the ball game so far, the turnovers. And of course, the free throws made by uh, uh, Lakeland as well. 12 out of 14, 85%. Actually, 85.7. Concordia, on the other hand, only four out of eight. Early in the second half, again, Lakeland uh, up by 14. Shot by Road is up and good, a three-pointer. Well, the other thing, was, we were talking at halftime, 46 points and a half is that's on pace for 92. That's just a boatload of points by... Uh, That's more than the NBA scoring. Yeah, any, any team. Ball is uh, knocked away from Rush, but she recovers it. Meerdink's shot is off no good, and Steiner with the rebound. Well, Crystal uh, Meerdink had a good first half, but then got in a foul trouble. A thousand with a nice feed off to Jenna Beam for an easy two, and Lakeland with four quick points, has jumped the lead up to 8-19 at 51-32. Rush on a good spin move. Fading jumper in the lane is no good. Thousand trying to get the baseline, pulls up for a 12-footer, it's no good. Meerdink had the rebound, then she was fouled. Foul goes on Rote. That's her first. Housand uh, looks like she hurt her leg again, Chris. And Langenhorst comes in for her. Being checked by the trainer. Thousand is. Going hard to the basket and throwing up a shot was Alicia Sura. And bailed out on the foul again, Marty. Jenna Beam on the foul. Second team foul on Lakeland. There's Andy. Andy McKillop. So that was a perfect record. Football and basketball hasn't missed. You better not get the sniffles or anything. I think TV8 would have to shut down. <laughs> really? Andy might make his announcing debut on Monday night. Are you announce, announcing is announcing or? Yeah. Sir was three for four as she came to the line for this trip and she missed that first one. Missed that one. Bajarski's uh, shot, putback is no good and then Steiner with the rebound. And a travel call. Good pressure applied by Concordia. Lakeland's done a pretty good job taking care of the ball. That's just turnover number nine. Uh, lazy pass by Meerdink and uh, Concordia turns it over. Steiner muscles her way in and gets called for the offensive foul. She lowered the shoulder and pushed the defender out of the way. My thoughts exactly when she lowered that shoulder, it was almost automatically right in front of the official right here and uh, easy call for him to make there. There you see Stacy Rush with it.
Ensign going hard to the basket, throws a shot up, and she's fouled. Well, doing a much better job, Concordia is, of drawing fouls. In the first half, I believe it was about five fouls to about 13 fouls, and uh, total difference here. Lakeland already has four. We've only played uh, just about three minutes, Marty. Yeah. First half it was Concordia getting Lakeland in the bonus about halfway through. If you're Lakeland, you don't worry about that too much with an 18 point lead, but uh, if it gets closer, you're right, the double bonus will come a lot faster. Till had it. Jump shot by Langenhorst is off no good. And then out of bounds off of uh, Bayarski. Good pass. Wrote a runner, no good. Lakeland with a lot of offensive rebounds, Chris. You got that right. Lots of opportunities. Gosh, I wanted to jump out of my chair and get that ball. <laughs> I almost beat you to it. Crystal Meerdink commits the fall. That's her third. I get a good shot of Renee Steiner. She had six points in the first half, now has seven. Russian Mirding for uh, Concordia had six points each in the first half. Well, whatever they're doing at the free throw line, they should keep it up and practice. Exactly. <clears throat> Rush getting it inside to Meerdink. Her shot is no good. She got to put back, but didn't get that to go either. And a tie up. Arrow points Concordia's way, so they'll get it out of bounds. Rush from outside the line, got it. Her third three-point basket of the game. She has nine points. Well, when she got on track in the first half is when Concordia made a small run. Good free throw shooting by the Lady Muskies helped them close out the half. Good rebound by Crystal Meerdink off a of Lakeland miss. Trying to take of the basket was Sura, and then she was blocked off and fouled. That one's gonna go against Langenhorst. And a full time out. So we're gonna step out and be right back. It's 53-36, uh, Lakeland on top. Athletic competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. JA's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. I love the challenge of... Get a shot of some of the Muskie fans. You mentioned earlier it's a good turnout, and uh, that it is. You know, we've been here uh, plenty of times, and this is probably about as many people as we've seen at these games. Absolutely, and as I said, that's just great to see the support, all the athletics out here. Our football team had a very strong campaign, finishing second in conference. And uh, high expectations for the gentlemen out here as well, as well as the ladies every year. April Arvin goes for win number 194. Well, by the time this season is over, she'll have over 200, which is uh, averaging 20 a year. Yeah, they're saying in the program here that she, going into the season, she ranked number eight in winning percentage of all Division three coaches. That's quite an accomplishment. Um, 
She's got a whole bench, bunch full of little players to uh, continue this tradition. We're at the 16 second, 16 minute mark of the second half. Lakeland on top by 17. See Thousand closing in on Rush, not allowing her that three point shot. A Mirding shot from the baseline rolls off, no good. Thousands pass inside to uh, Steinert is good, but Mirding on the block. Lakeland will keep it. No, Mirding's a quick jumper, Chris. Yes, she is. Like I said, uh, Earlier, her volleyball skills are just as good. Dominating force at Oostburg. <laughs> Little bumping and banging going on by Bayarski and Steinert. Steinert just wants to take a walk in the park and Bayarski wants to mug her. A uh, good play and nice block by Meerdink on a Porter shot. Open from the side is Rote. Got it. A two, a three-point basket by Rote. She has 16 on the night. Just uh, at her average, 15 and a half. Bayarski, good little pump fake, shuffle the feet, and turns it over. Lakeland up, their biggest lead right now at 20. It's 56-36 with 15-15 remaining. Kind of like that, a freshman leading your team in scoring. Like I said, you wonder why April Arvin continues to have successful programs out here in teams. I think Concordia is getting a little frustrated. Things just aren't happening. They got blown out the other day by uh, Cardinal Stritch by 50 and uh, Right now, you, they find themselves down 20. Roll it off a double screen, is open. Can't get it. Takes a 14-foot jumper, it's no good also. <clears throat> Coming away with it was Sura. Good inside feed. To Mirdink, her shot is way off. Thousand taking it to the baseline, it's cut off. And Rote getting called for a screening foul. She doesn't play like a freshman. No, like I said, she went to Kendall Moraine, which, as I said, a traditional powerhouse in girls basketball in the state of Wisconsin. Good shot of her, just a freshman. Lakeland playing man-to-man uh, -man defense. Good hustle by Till on Rush. Not allowing her to get open. Rush's inside pass to a Meerdink and then she throws it out of bounds. Well, just four points in the first six minutes for uh, Concordia to start this uh, half off. Again, good defense by the Lady Muskies forcing this action just not to happen for Concordia. Till down the lane, pull up jumpers off. <coughs> Boy, they really look to get the ball to rush to uh, run the break. Oh, nice running shot is up and in by Harrell. Her second basket of the game.
Bounce pass in 2000. Her fadeaway is no good. Good feed up by Rush, but it got by the intended receiver, Naomi Wendorf, and then it skipped out of bounds. See one of our younger fans enjoying some concessions. Never, Whoop. not on TV. Never too uh, <laughs> young to enjoy popcorn. Can ask Brian about I that. I was just thinking Brian. <laughs> Brian had two or three handfuls or bags or something. He usually leaves a little at the table for us. Not tonight. It must have been pretty good. <laughs> Thousand from outside the line is no good. Now we get a whistle inside, and I think uh, Byarski is going to get nailed with a foul on Steinert. Nichols is going to uh, trigger the inbounds. Beam on a spin move. Nice. Right around the defender, Wendorf, for an easy two. She has 10 points in the game. Bayarski's shot is blocked from behind. And Lakeland has the break again. Good job of slowing it up. Fade away by Steiner is off and Rush with the rebound. Too many blue shirts in one spot there. Lakeland up 30, 58 to 38, they're up 20. And we got another foul, this one's gonna go on Bayarski again, that's gonna be her fourth, Chris. And Crystal Meerdink will check in for her. 12.04 remaining in the ball game, Lakeland on top by 20. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you tonight's ball game. We're right back at it tomorrow night. There you see that smile. She has a lot to smile about tonight. Yep. Rowett gets wide open and nails it. Nice play run by Lakeland there to get Rowett open on the wing. She has five three-pointers, Chris. 19 points on the night. Inside feed, the Meerdink is uh, kicked out of bounds. Cordy will get it back. You see Dirk Zeilman and his wife. Dirk, a member of the uh, school board in Sheboygan. He's my boss. Beam has fouled on her way to the basket. That foul is going to go on uh, Wendorf. The foul situation is evened out somewhat. From four nothing Lakeland, it's now six to four Lakeland. <coughs> Till triggers the inbounds. She's open from the wing. Now, Bame, I thought, got away with an over the back. I agree. To keep the ball alive. Till's a real nice player coming off the bench, coach. Beam's shot is off. And pushing it up is uh, Erica Henson. 
Eerdink going hard to the basket is fouled. Just a tough first 10 minutes of the second half for Concordia. Just six points at the moment and uh, we're having a hard time even getting shots off. Yes. You know, it's one thing when you get shots and you can't make them, <laughs> but it's even worse when you can't even get them. Yeah, I got them two for 12. There you see my wife with her hand on her face and uh, Mike Lee alongside her and Kathy Klee in front of her. Sixty-one thirty-nine. Steiner taking it hard to the hoop, and it's followed by Mirdink, and that'll be her fourth. Having another good uh, overall ball game, Renee Steiner. I got her on officially for eight rebounds. Eight rebounds, eight points so far. Going for a nine and ten. How about a double double tonight? Ooh. Old hat for her, I'll bet. I had a double double one night. Turnovers and shots attempted. <laughs> And that was a good night. <laughs> oh, nice pump fake. And the shot is up and in by Wendorf. Good skip, skip pass. pass. Yeah. Shot no good. I guess it wasn't road shooting, was it? <laughs> that was uh, Langenhorst. Dill with the rebound on the uh, Concordia miss. Lakeland up by 22. And a timeout, Lakeland. I think they just wanted to get uh, two players in, row 10,000. That's the 30 second, they're all standing up. Chris, what's your take on the uh, Fox River Valley this year? I, I know it's pretty unusual you lose your top seven or eight guys and North is still picked to win it. Yeah, very. Or at least to be right up there. Yeah, as I said in the preview for uh, high school, boy, it's gonna be a, obviously North's gotta be one of the favorites, but boy, oh boy, there's so many teams that can uh, bump off each other. I think it's gonna be very competitive. Uh, Green Bay Notre Dame will be much better, as I said, with Casey Zakowski and Harry Boyce at Green Bay East is just an outstanding player. He lit up Plymouth the other night. And uh, as I said before, uh, Sheboygan South uh, boys are really coming on and uh, a lot of height there. If they can get some consistency in their scoring, uh, I don't think they're gonna finish uh, fifth like they were picked. You know, uh, during the football season, we always had a good time with Will the Thrill Hartman. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing basketball and uh, is a contributor as a junior. And he was definitely more than that on the football field. Yeah. Sheboygan North girls also off to a very, very strong start, undefeated so far. Beat Green Bay Preble in their opener last night. Well, that would be Tuesday night. Right. Pass inside, Porter good all. Idea. Yeah, good ideas, right. But uh, Nichols couldn't catch it, and Concordia got it. Inside feed to uh, Sura is tipped away. Rote going hard to the basket, and a good call. Got that elbow out and pushed the uh, defender away. You don't agree? Well, I think she was going, and the uh, defender was definitely on her heels. But uh, yeah, when you get that elbow up, that's, that's different. I don't think Coach Arvin agreed either, but... Uh, I guess I'm in the minority. <laughs> well, the official, you and the official. He doesn't count. <laughs> what does he know? Just said he made the call. <coughs> well, it's just like an umpire. What yeah. is <laughs> this is the second game in a row that I thought we've had officials that have kind of just kind of gone with the flow and 
really not had an impact on the game. I mean, they're kind of just out there. I thought the other day in the high school game with Sheboygan North boys, and again tonight, the officials are kind of a non-factor. Rowe got that last three-point basket for uh, Concordia, and we got a whistle on this end. And as an official, you probably agree with that when you're when you're not mentioned or you're not talked about. Probably is not that you're not doing a good job. It's probably you're doing a really good job because you're uh, not making a difference one way or the other. I will say this: that uh, any time officials are refing a North game and they allow play to go on, I think you're definitely favoring North. Just by the nature of the way they play defense. And I don't mean dirty defense or anything of that nature. It's just that they play so hard and so aggressive. <laughs> Till being guarded by Rush. Takes it hard to the basket. Oh, she had an opening. Couldn't get the easy shot to go. We're at the 8-10 mark, Lakeland up 19, 63 to 44. Good backdoor cut. Shot is up and in, good pass by Meerdink. By Arski getting the easy shot. That's her first point of the second half, Chris. She had 11 in the first half to lead uh, Concordia. Beam out the till. Crystal Meerdink with rebound number seven. Rush clearing out the side so she can get it into Meerdink and then uh, tipped away by Casey Thousand. That's gotta be at least her third steal of the game. Rush on the foul, Till will go to the line to shoot two. Well, Christy Till struggling a little bit from the floor. Just uh, one for eight from the floor, but uh, she contributes in so many other areas. Timeout, it's a full timeout, so we'll take a short break with Lakeland up 17. the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Back at the Lakeland College where the Lady Muskies are in uh, full control tonight against the Concordia Lady Falcons. It's 63 to 46. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright. Andy McKillop on the up camera. Brian Andrews on the floor camera. Kerry Coutzer, our director in the truck. And a cast of thousands, almost. There's the big fish. He is put together, man. <laughs> I wish I was built like that. I wouldn't want him out on a Friday night, though. He'll probably be in a pan on a plate with some coleslaw and <laughs> bread. A couple of fries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Till making her second trip to the line. She was two for two in the first half. Had a three-point basket in the first half also. She now has six in the ball game. And gets removed from the ball game for her efforts. Lakeland continuing to play man-to-man -man defense and a wild shot attempted by Stephanie Young. Five, 
Nichols to Roach, she's open. Rebound to Rush. Quick feed, oh, Nothing stripped there. of the ball was Janicki. Didn't catch what happened. Whatever it was, it was off of uh, Concordia. That's because it was way on the other side from us. Oh, not a good fall by Janicki. We'll send Nichols to the line. There's some more young fans. Daddy looks pretty serious on that picture. He Nichols had a three-point play in the first half, Chris. I'm sorry. I was just going to say he wants to know why he didn't win the raffle. Eight different Muskies have scored tonight. And a lot of them at the free throw line, Marty. Oh, for sure. Long shot is no good by Parole. Young put it up and in. Lakeland up 19. We're at the 6.05 mark of the second half. Inside feed to Beam. Shot is no good. Tangled up feet. And stripped away by Beam. Thousand comes up with it. That's a skip pass. And another foul on Concordia. Stephanie Young. Just got a basket. And now she picks up a foul. And Alicia Roat is making her first trip to the line, Chris. She had 10 points in the first half. She now has 10 in the second half, has 20 in the game. Full time out. We'll be right back. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. Um, I'm sitting at a <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Moose Wilson was a fixture here for 23 years and garnered 536 wins. He's really an icon at this school. Yep, and I know uh, they had an alumni game here where he helped coach him and Tom Graham. I know you had something to do with that. And yeah, uh, I got to be the floor announcer. It's always nice to uh, I heard back this. Those people. This is a different time he was here. I think it was a couple of years ago and you know they asked him about all his wins and he said, well, the best coaching decision he ever made was having Pitch and Wagner do all those games. <laughs> He's like 53 and three with those guys on the floor. <laughs> I'm sure their opponents like to hear that at the time. <laughs> Coach Combs, who was here last year for the uh, men, obviously uh, moved on to a new job. He's at Platteville. They lost their uh, conference opener to Oshkosh the other night. Played a very competitive game. Steiner with a good block, and then she's gonna get called for a foul. Renee has three falls in the game, all of them in the second half. 
Sura going to the line to shoot two. She just, uh, she had a good game going in the first half, Chris, making three of four. Now she's missed three in a row in the second half and four in a row for the game. She needs to make this one to get back to 50%. That's not gonna get it done. If Arch counted, she'd have got it done. A little press again. But uh, probably a little too late. Just once again, they're back on the line. At the line for Lakeland is uh, Ann Laseka. Boy, it doesn't matter who steps to the line, they all make them. Sophomore from McHenry, Illinois. Lakeland up 23. Rush open from about 23 and pops it in there. That one was her deepest three of the night. She now has 12, 12 points on four three-point baskets. Uh, just thinking back in the first half, Lakeland, like you had mentioned, Chris, uh, they had a comfortable lead, you know, and they were playing quite well, and all of a sudden, Concordia had come back to close it to 38-31, uh, and from that point on, Concordia really, uh, pardon me, Lakeland really broke loose, uh, scoring eight points to only one in those last three minutes or so of action. Steinert uh, with a basket has a chance to uh, make it a three-point play. Left too early. Yep, violation on Concordia. Steinert will get another attempt. Don't give them another chance tonight. She made them pay. Now that doesn't go as two attempts, right? That's just one free throw. It's all going right for Lakeland tonight. Yep, -er. <laughs> Even those free throws. Another whistle. Aubrey Roth with uh, four fouls. And going to the line to shoot the one and one is Stephanie Young. Brent Lukey, quarterback out here. Yeah. Pretty nice good hearing. career for him. He was a good one. Wonder which offense you would rather run. Because you know they threw a lot of passing before uh, new coach came in. Yeah, but he got a share and he got to run with the football a little bit too and uh, they put a lot of points on the board this fall, that's for sure. So that didn't change, but uh, second place in the conference, that's, that's a nice, nice year. Ensign commits her fourth foul. We're at 417 remaining in the ball game. Lakeland up 74 to 52. And there's not a lot of action before fouls. No, I'll tell you, this is a the last few minutes have been very slow moving. I'm doing my best to keep track of the scoring. Good shot of Kerry Nichols. She got that one in. Heather Grote checks in, number 44. She's from uh, just up the road at Elkhart Lake. 
Her and Amanda Thielman, also from Elkhart Lake, two of the players that uh, are out here. Three-point attempt by Young is up and in. Stephanie with six points, all in the second half. Girl, part of that uh, state championship Elkhart Lake team of a few years ago. Oh, on the line. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> got that time you talk right about time. everything going right. There was another example of that. Full break, Carrie, let's take 30. art kids get the more it shows are yours getting enough art ask for more americans for the arts.org there you see that basketball banner that's uh, all under april arvin's watch i think they're going to need a new one if they keep playing like this tied for second with concordia a year ago uh, and as you said, uh, defeated them in uh, conference tournament play. Wisconsin Lutheran was the team to beat a, a year ago, if I remember correctly. They were. And uh, I can't remember the name of the girl, but uh, they had a dynamite player on their squad. I think she might have been player of the year in a conference. Yeah. I had mentioned earlier on February 7th, we're gonna be back out here for a doubleheader. And they play Wisconsin Lutheran in that doubleheader. Oh, Feldman with the reach. Gary Pansky now checking in, number 13. From Wallace, Michigan. Nice job of Coach Arvin, get lots of players in. Porter with the rebound. And finally we get a whistle on the travel. It's pretty much in the bank, but uh, what you're seeing right now is not too pretty. There's a good shot of Coach Chuck Oliver from Concordia down in Mequon. And Nichols with the rebound. Well, they're just swarming the ball. Oh, breaking through the pack and charging was Laheska. Pardon me, Laheka. What the heck am I doing? Don't roll your eyes at me. I was just gonna say, <laughs> go back to work tomorrow. You have a whole classroom full of kids to watch tomorrow too. Long shot by Wendorf is in. And pulling it back out. Is Grohl. Porter being hounded on top. Whoop. The heck of a shot is late. It's going to be a turnover on Lakeland. Long shot is no good by Concordia and rebounded by Gro, and then she's fouled immediately by Naomi Wendorf, and that'll be her fourth. 
It's 75-59, Lakeland on top. We're at the 216 mark. And uh, these last about five minutes, Chris, have been uh, laborious to say the least. And what would you say it <laughs> as the worst? I couldn't even spell that word, so. <laughs> well, it's just a lot of different players for Lakeland coming into the mix. And uh, uh, Cordy, of course, is trying to get in and by firing up threes. Uh, Lakeland's doing a good job not allowing second shots. And uh, once they get the rebound, it seems like there's a lot of uh, fouls after that. This might be the most free throws I think we've ever seen. Well, they've, Lakeland now has 10 different players that have scored. Rush open from deep. Can't get it in. Uh, Nick Lightpalm stopped over at halftime. Say hello. Uh, he hurt his knee in the off season, Chris. He's practicing, and uh, I think he's hoping that starting the second semester, he'll be able to start playing competitively. Perot with the basket, uh, she has nine points on the night. Chance to break in to double figures if she can pop in this free throw. As most of you know, uh, Nick played at Sheboygan Lutheran, a good one, good shooter. Uh, all time leading scorer in the uh, history of Sheboygan basketball. Good pass, Grohl should get an easy two. She has three points. 78-61, Lakeland on top. Ensign out to rush, she loads one up and can't get it to go. Naomi Wendor picking up her fifth foul. And uh, a brief break in the action. Are they calling a timeout, Chris? I think the uh, five, well, maybe a timeout here. Always nice to start off 1-0, and playing at home. That first victory of the uh, LMC Conference. And uh, some action coming up, Chris. Uh, we mentioned, of course, Green Bay Southwest invading north on Friday night. On Monday, we have UW-Washington is at UW-Sheboygan and women's side. And then uh, we're back out here on December 12th when Northland Baptist play the Lakeland men. And then our last game in December is on uh, the 19th when Green Bay East invades North in uh, what should be an excellent game and a very important game in Fox River Valley action. Yeah, I think you and uh, Stu will be doing uh, that game. So it says here, but you never know. Never know. Check the basketball Bible on that one. <laughs> Ooh. Girl wanted it, but the hoop didn't want it. Heather Grohl has four points. We're at 130 remaining. 79-61 Lakeland. Rush on a skip pass, and then we've got a foul call. I believe going to the line is gonna be Missy Janicki. She got fouled setting a screen. Janicki with an opportunity to break into the scoring column. Oh, 
whole lot of fouls going on, Marty. Really? It's not all happening on the floor either. A good kick up pass. Gross shot is no good, but the putback is. I thought our performance left a little to be desired. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> no boys. Oh, got one more night. <clears throat> Rush, again, no good. And then losing it out of bound was young. But it was tipped out by Lakeland. No switch and rolls tomorrow night, Marty. Unless you really, really I'll have to. I'll be ready. We'll break out the whistle tomorrow at work. <laughs> <laughs> Young loads it up. No good. Girl with the rebound, and we're under a minute. Eighty-one, sixty-one. They're not going to make that 92 that they were on pace for in the first half. Shot is up and good by Laheka. Three, a three-pointer. Rushes pass inside, almost picked off, but getting it back was Ensign, and she put it up and in. That should do it. That should. I don't follow her, girls. And that's the ball game. Lakeland wins it by a score of 84 to 63. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, hopefully Chris will have uh, an interview or two. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. write letters to each other a lot. A lot of the notes, they were just really dark. Expressions of anger when he was mad, he hit things. He said something to me about uh, killing himself. You have to take it seriously. The risk is too great. You have to um, try and help them get help. Tell somebody, tell an adult, counselor, parent, whatever. What are you going to do? Let them destroy themselves? I, mean, I don't see much of a choice at all. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteer. Do something nice for someone. We fixed stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up his house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We, the Ace, are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4-H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. I'm sick of dealing with you. I'm sick of... I work six days a week. Who do you think you are? Don't you ever talk back to me again! You just shut up! What are you crying about? What? What a child learns about violence, a child learns for life. Teach carefully. We can show you how. Act against violence. Call 877-ACT-WISE for a free brochure. What does being involved really mean? Is it making grilled cheese sandwiches for a sleepover? Staying for the curtain call at the talent show? Or learning the names of their favorite bands? Believe it or not, right now, there are parents just like you out there talking about things like this. From school to home, from friends to futures. And we'd like you to be a part of it. National PTA, every child, one voice. We're back at Lakeland College where the Muskies have defeated Concordia, 84-63. to Chris Wright standing by with a couple of interviews. Well, I'm here with two uh, happy girls, uh, Casey and Aubrey. Adjusting to college life? Yeah, it's going all right. I like the shot clock difference and 
Well, you came from a pretty strong uh, program in high school and then coming here, a uh, uh, little different playing college uh, basketball than high school? Yeah, it's, it's pretty different. It's a lot faster. And um, it's not, I don't know, the shot clock makes it a lot different, but I like it a lot better. I don't know. You're getting your shots up and stuff and you're averaging over 16 points as a freshman. That must be pretty exciting. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> well, best of luck. We're going to be back to see you a little bit. Uh, this is probably the happiest girl in college basketball right here. Uh, 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 more leadership this year, huh? Totally, especially since I'm the only senior on the team. It's not more pressure, but a lot of people look up to me a little more. So I expect it out of myself, too, to be a better leader and uh, help our little freshmen out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you played some pretty tough games to prepare for the conference. That must have helped a lot coming into tonight. Oh, very much so. Like, their pressure was really good tonight, too, but we've seen it with Eau Claire and the other games that we've lost pretty bad, but it helps us to prepare for our conference and to be better, hopefully. Yeah, I know last year I had two tough losses against Concordia. It must be nice to get a win today. That's what we were talking about, that they came out and whomped us last year, and we're like, we don't want it to happen again this year. we got to come out strong and be ready, and I think we did a good job with that tonight. Uh, just starting the conference play, uh, getting a win like this should carry on. Uh, teams you might be, uh, for us to look forward to, it's going to be tough in the conference to beat. Oh, geez. This year it's um, Edgewood, Concordia, Wisconsin Lutheran, Marion. Um, it's going to be a cat fight between all of us this year, so it's going to be an exciting year. Well, congratulations tonight, and let, we'll follow the press and see how things are going. And like I said, we'll be back here in a, in a couple weeks to see him again. Let's send it back to Marty. Let's go over some of the highest scores for Lakeland. They were led with four gals in uh, double figures, led by uh, Aubrey Roach. You just saw her there in the interview. Uh, Renee Steiner was second with 13 points. Casey Thousand had 12 points, all of those coming in the first half. And then uh, Jenna Beam chipped in with 10. Concordia was led by Lee Byarski, and she had 13 points. 11 of those came in the uh, first half. And Stacy Rush was the only other double figure scorer for the Concordia Lady Falcons. She chipped in with 12 on four three point baskets. Our next broadcast is going to be uh, Friday night when Green Bay Southwest invades Sheboygan North for the opening of the 2003-2004 Fox River Valley season. Uh, for the crew, my name is Mike Martin saying so long everybody along with Chris Wright saying so long everybody, we'll see you down the road. <laughs>